Hey everyone, I'm Sharice and today is a really exciting day because I get to try out Lush's brand new Afro Echo range. So for those of you who don't know, they have brought out six, is it six new hair care products? I have one, two, three, one. yeah, I have five here. So um, I don't have one of them, as I mentioned in my previous post, I don't have the Super Milk, which is a leave-in conditioner and also a heat different spray. Um, but I'm going to work with what I got. And today I have got the Avocado Co-Wash, which is a naked co-wash. So no plastic. Yay! It smells amazing. It looks super cute. It's got fresh avocado in it, avocado oil in it, and bear with me. Two. Kupuachu butter? I think is how you pronounce it. Kupu. Ku. It's got that in it as well. So it's got plenty of good stuff. It's really hydrating, really moisturising. Um, avocados are amazing for dry, frizzy, curly hair anyway. Um, lots of people will use fresh avocados in their homemade masks. They're good for your skin. They're good for you to eat. So yeah, I will be, I will be starting with this one today. And for my conditioner, so they have two new conditioners. They've got Power and Glory. And I'm thinking that I'm going to go with Glory today because I don't have the leave-in. Yeah, I think because I don't have the leave-in today, I'm going to go with Glory because it's the, the richer, the heavier one of the two. And then I'm going to use some oil and some curl cream. So yeah, I mean, I spoke a little bit about them yesterday. I'm just going to go ahead and get started and talk to you about them as I go. So I'm now going to go in with my conditioner, Glory. Um, some of the key ingredients in this one are coconut cream, okra gel and castor oil. So again, really nourishing, really moisturizing, moisturizing ingredients. Um, this, as I said, I think is the thicker, more richer of the two. Um, this one is supposed to give really good slip, meaning that you should be able to comb or finger comb your way through really well. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Smells really good. So. Oh, it's thick. So this is the, the consistency. It is thick. It is not going anywhere. When conditioning, I always like to start at the sort of mid lengths and go down. It's not your scalp that needs conditioning, it's your hair. So it's really important. Start at the middle, bring it down. Oh, this is nice. Oh, oh. Usually I have to use a lot of conditioner. And I mean, this is spreading. What I like to do, once my hair is more or less coated, I'll start brushing it in. And then I can add to the bits where I think it needs adding to. So, I mean, I've literally used the tiniest bit. Usually I'm squeezing 
like half a bottle. Uh, oh, I did a really bad thing there. I started right at the top. You should start at the bottom and work your way up. Thankfully, there were no tangles there, so my brush did go straight through. Always, always, always brush my conditioner in. I know some people would rather um, finger detangle or use a comb. I used to finger, oh, I did it again. Start at the bottom, start at the bottom. I used to finger detangle, um, but I just found it wasn't getting rid of the fairy knots, those really little um, knots that just always seem to happen with curly hair. Oh my God, I wish you could smell this. Some people find it easier to section their hair as well when brushing conditioner through. Which I might actually do, because I just feel like I'm not really getting where I want to be. It's really weird washing my hair while stood up, fully clothed, trying to, yeah. The slip <laughs> is amazing. Like, well, you can see, I'm going straight through. I haven't got caught, there's no knots, there's, oh my God. And I've used the tiniest bit. I'm going to put a little bit more in just because I love conditioner. And I said I don't have a leave-in to use today, so I really want to make sure I am moist. Can we just, I don't want to have to stand in my bath, my bath is between us, can we just, okay, I'm going to get side. Again, I'm going to add just a little bit more on this side. Sorry if you can hear wailing in the background. It's my gremlins. Oh my god. Oh. That is now brushed through. And what I like to do. feeling sexy and then I will leave it for about 10, 15, 20, 30, <laughs> however long. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave it on for a bit and then I will rinse it off and be back and let you know. Bye. Hi guys, I'm back. I am co-washed, conditioned and I am ready to style. So my next product is Renee's Shea Souffle. So this is a hair boil, hair boil, boil, it's not a boil. This, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a hair boil, oh my god, it's not a boil. <laughs> this is a hair boil. <laughs> In fair trade shea butter, almond oil, uh, you've got extra virgin coconut oil, you've got organic avocado oil, you've got uh, Jasmine Absolute, Tonka Absolute, which is one of my favourite smells, um, and it smells lovely. It reminds me a little bit of R&B, um, so it's really thick consistency. It is definitely an oil. I mean, look at that, the teeniest bit, and um, the camera's not showing it. Look like a liar. It's oily, so I am going to start by taking off my t-shirt. Hair. Wow, it is so shiny and soft, and there is literally there's nothing in it, and it smells insane. Like my hair, I think it, it's a, a thick, curly hair thing. Anyway, it holds on to smells, but like you can really, really smell anything that I put in it. Oh my god, it 
Sorry, I'm looking over here because my mirror is here. Wow. Wow. So, I haven't actually used a scalp oil before. Usually when I use oils, I use them last, like at the very end. Um, so I'll usually wash, condition. If I'm using a leave-in, I usually use the leave-in. Add my curling products. And then I normally would use a gel because I like to create that sort of cast. Um, and then when it's dried, I will usually go in with a bit of oil to break the cast. So this is definitely a new way of using it for me. So I'm just going to put some on my fingers and sort of massage it into my scalp. I mean, we are supposed to give ourselves um, scalp massages anyway. It helps get the blood flowing, can create growth. And it's just nice to take a few minutes give yourself a bit of a bit of a rub i mean i am going to do it properly after but as i need to do my scalp massage anyway it makes sense to put a little bit on my fingers whilst doing it so i'm thinking i'm going to put my hair into some twists and then have it as a twist out um yeah and see how that goes especially as these products follow the lock method um, as I did say to you in my post, it's not something that I'm overly familiar with. Um, liquid oil cream is, is what it stands for. I have the cream and the oil. So the liquid is the super milk, which is the one that I don't have. Um, but otherwise I'm going in the order. So I'm doing oil, then cream. Normally when I'm styling my hair um, after washing it, I will do it either when it's still absolutely drenched or I will add more water to it um, because water is moisture. So when you're thinking about, oh, my hair needs moisture, your hair needs water and then you need to find a way of locking that water in, which is usually what these kinds of products then do. Um, but because of the sort of style I'm doing, I'm not going to be adding more water because it's still quite, quite wet. So I'm going to section it. Get a little bit more oil um i did watch the video of um sarah using the products on her daughter um she was the lady who brought this idea to lush and i mean she, she's the reason that we have all this so yay thank you sarah um and i saw that she, this is how she was doing it she was using the oil because i think she was braiding her daughter's hair and she would use the oil on the scalp and on the tops of the hair hoping that I'm remembering that way. I watched so many hair videos. And then she went in with the Curl Power. So in the Curl Power hair cream, some of the key ingredients in this are linseed oil, uh, linseed gel, sorry. We have got bergamot oil, which is one of my favorite oils. Um, it's an anxiety reducing oil. So I always look out for it in my products. I use it in my oil burners. Um, it's just a really, really good, nice oil. Um, what else have we got in here? Argan oil, fair trade organic cocoa butter, we've got extra virgin olive oil, we've got organic jojoba oil, which is one of the oils that um, mimics your body's natural oils. I think it's like the closest oil to your natural oils. Um, so really, really good ingredients. Oh, it feels good. So that's that one. So let's do this. I'm just going to... It down and today I'm going to do a twist out. Um, usually for a twist out, I would use a leave in, um, so I will do all of this again with the leave in when I do have it, um, just to see the difference it makes. I am excited. Look at them curls. I am quite um, handsy with curl creams, I do like to have a lot in because my hair just gets so dry i mean i say a lot but i've barely actually used any so, yeah and then i'm just gonna go ahead and yeah and that it isn't quite even and i'm gonna twist it So twists are a protective style, however, I never really leave them in long enough to 
give me much protection i just really like the results of when you take them out um as i am only using lush products um, I'm not using any other products, I just want to see my results with only Lush ones. Usually when I do a twist out, I would add the gel at the ends of my hair to stop the twist coming out. As I'm only using Lush products, I'm going to add a little elastic, which is not something I'd usually do, because they can be a little bit tight. I'm going to take... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. hands are so slippy. Let me put it down and then pick it back up. No, that didn't work so teeny little elastic i'm gonna just tie that up. oh my god it broke <laughs> take two now i've got to try and stretch it out again oh my god these are horrible I'm really liking, I can really feel the moisture on my skin as well. So I really like heavier products because my hair is so thick and gets so dry. I need the heaviest, I need the oils, I need the butters, I need the creams, I need all of that. Um, yeah, to, to just get in there and work its magic and that is so shiny. I am really looking forward to trying the power, which is this one. Um, because this is a protein rich one my hair needs protein because it's a high porosity um which basically means that it lets all the water in but as quick as it goes in it's coming back out again so it's like sucking it all in and then my hair is dry so i need protein because protein is good for high porosity i mean i don't know loads about it i don't know loads about hair to be honest um i just <coughs> excuse me i just started this hair journey because i was sick of straightening my hair I used to straighten my hair every single day from the age of about 11 until February 2019. It's now, what, November 2020. So I've been natural since. I haven't straightened it. I haven't dyed it. I've used the Lush Henners. Um, obviously, they're natural. They don't have any horrible chemicals or anything like that in. I haven't used anything in my hair that would potentially harm it. Um, and I'm just on this journey to having better hair, to loving my hair, to loving myself. Uh, when I first started i did follow the curly girl method um which it helped me a lot it did help me a lot uh but i decided after a bit once my hair had gone to the point where i kind of knew what i was doing a little bit i thought well you know this is all great and all but this is saying that i can't use products that are working for me like i'd use something and then i'd check it because um completely wrong like that yeah i'd use it first and it would say, oh, no, this isn't curly girl approved. So then I'd stop using it. And it's like, well, why? It works. Why Why would you not use something if it works, if it has good ingredients, if it's not tested on animals, if it's vegan, vegetarian, cruelty-free, and your hair loves it, why not use it? So, yeah, I decided I'm not going to follow any method. I'm going to take the knowledge and all the information, all the amazing stuff that I learned from that method, and I'm going to just apply it to what I'm doing now and just use things that work and, and that's what i'm doing now so that's probably why i hadn't heard of the lock method as well to be honest because after the curly method um i kind of felt like well i don't i don't want to stick to all these rules i just want to do what's working and then i stopped looking at the methods and just started looking at the products um but obviously i am trying this in the order of the lock method just to see how it goes i mean i'm not gonna say oh no i'll never try a method i just don't stick strictly to any method um yeah I started at the top again i am you are supposed to start at the bottom when brushing it's just have it i just go for it go for the top so shiny i know i keep saying it but i'm just so excited about this i've been such a big fan of lush for about 11 years now um i just yeah i love their ethics I love what they stand for i love the fact that they don't test on animals obviously but it's not just that is it it's 
you know how they source their ingredients um it's about being ethical being fair trade how they treat their workers and i don't just mean the, the staff in the shops but you know from the women that pick the olives and if you don't know about that you should look into that it's a really really heartwarming amazing um amazing thing the way the way they've done it i mean just yeah just ev everything they're, they're just a lovely company and I d yeah i do work there i did i hadn't i didn't work there when i first fell in love with them um but yes i do work for lush now lush mary hill if you are ever in the area come see me i give you hair tips um but no that's not why i am loving them and why i've decided to do this video i've decided to do it because as i said i've been a fan of lush for 11 years now since i was 18 and um i just think it's great everything that they stand for and then the fact that they've now just brought out this range it's just so inclusive and so relevant and so needed um so i felt like it was really important for me to jump on this and try it and and give it a go and see what it's like so i've just finished doing the twists um they're not perfect <laughs> they're very uneven but i won't be wearing this as a hairstyle it will literally just be a twist out so once this is dry i'll take it out um and then that will be the hairstyle so so far i am very very impressed they are juicy and shiny and everything i want them to be um which is amazing especially as i don't have a leave-in in this time around so yeah i will be back when my hair is dry and i'm taking these out and then we can see what it looks like hi guys so it's actually the next day i decided to sleep in my twists um the longer you leave them in the better the results so i figured i'd just leave them overnight so this is what i sleep in to keep my hair protected and this is my hair now so what i'm going to do is take the hair and scalp oil and just rub it into just the twist before i take it out and i'm going to do that to all of them and take them out I am just going to really gently and really slowly separate the twist. The ends of my hair are a little bit scraggly, but the ends are dead. Um, as you can see, they're still blonde bits from when I bleached it over a year ago. And I have been slowly cutting those bits out. And then I'll just like to go through and separate the twist a bit more. As I'm trying to stick to only lush products and I really don't want to use anything else because I want my results to be completely lush. I'm going to try and do my edges with the oil instead of with a gel. It is definitely hydrated. Overall, I am really, really impressed with the Afro Hair Care range. It has moisturised, it has hydrated, it has defined my hair. Um, it's made it so soft. You're not meant to keep touching curly hair, but I keep touching it. Um, it's, it, it was really easy to detangle it. Um, the conditioner has had so much slip. It's just really, really nice. I'm really surprised. Not that I thought it wouldn't be a good range. I'm just really surprised at how well it has worked. Um, yeah, look at the shine. My hair is never this shiny. So yeah, I think next time I will probably be a little bit more um, generous. I use the tiniest, tiniest bit. And I mean, my hair's still looking very, very moisturised, very hydrated, very defined. But I did use the tiniest of all the products so i will probably use a little bit more next time 
and as I said I'm really excited about trying the super milk with it as well because I definitely feel like I need a leave in when I'm doing a twist out style like what I did last night um but yeah I'm really excited I can't wait to keep using them I can't wait to try a uh, power which is the other conditioner the protein rich conditioner and I'll let you know how that goes too yeah happy days so I've just uh, fluffed it out a little bit more and cut off some of the dead blonde bit. I don't recommend just randomly chopping bits of your hair off. Um, it's just something that I do because, yeah, random bits of dead blonde. Anyway, um, I've just kind of fixed it a little bit. I haven't added any other products. I haven't added any more of the Lush products. I, I only had the products that you'd already seen me put, put in. Um, I've literally just fluffed it up a little bit more and trimmed some of the blonde yeah look at my results i will definitely definitely use this a lot this will definitely become one of my regular routine um lineups really 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 excited i think it's a really nice one for those days where you don't want your hair feeling heavy like um as you know i love using gels with creams to get the hold and everything but if you just don't want that heavy day you just want a nice soft um almost feeling like you don't really have anything in but your hair's not going wild so your hair's still shiny defined soft but isn't weighed down with loads and loads of products then that's great it's great for if you're wanting to do a twist out like i don't put gel in the main parts of my hair if i'm doing a twist out i only put it in the ends um to try and achieve this kind of feel this kind of look so now i will probably only use the lush products for if i'm doing a twist out or if i decide to try any other protective styles um which i'm very very new to um but yeah i'm so happy it's really shiny something that i don't usually get usually i'll get really good definition and everything but it will go quite dull really quick as soon as i break the gel cast my hair is usually very very dull but it does not look dull it looks shiny 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 but yeah i'm really excited if you haven't tried them already i definitely recommend trying them um i will do an updated um, I probably won't do a whole new video, but I will update you with how it goes with the super milk and let you know how we get on. And if you try them, let me know how you get on. And if you have any other um, things or ideas or anything, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling now. I don't do videos. This is like my first video where you can hear my voice. So yeah, don't do videos. But yeah, happy. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Bye.